Skipping under boat docks have become really, really popular. It's a great way to do crappie. The little crappie jigs are hard to skip, so you sort of have to shoot those under a boat dock. But what's a good bass bait to skip? One that really skips very, very well. Good morning, guys and girls. May 7, May 7, we're going to look at the coffee coffee uh, scripture. <laughs> you know what the coffee scripture is? That's right. Hebrews. Hebrews 3, 8, reading out of Catch a Better Life book. We post these videos every morning at 5 o'clock central time, 5 o'clock central time. If you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day's channel, subscribe to that channel right now. If you are subscribed, get one of your buddies to subscribe as well. Hebrews 3, 8 says, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Here's what I wrote about that. It's critical when fishing to find a hard bottom. That's a very important thing in fishing. Obviously, in shallow water, we could simply stick our rod tips down in the bottom and check it out. Feel if the bottom is hard or if a rod tip goes down in the, in the silt. Our locators, our fish locators, can also tell us whether we're fishing a soft bottom or a hard bottom. Just like other structures, small areas of a hard bottom often hold big numbers of fish. Keep your eyes on your fish locator. That hard bottom might be a roadbed, could be gravel, could be a rock pile, but most likely it's holding bass, sometimes holding a bunch of them. The little small hard bottom area in a bunch around it with a bunch of soft bottom around it, sometimes a real honey hole. Today's verse speaks of a hard heart that just won't let God in. The heart is just so hard it won't let God in. You remember... Uh, the thing in the Bible that I think about a hard heart most of all is where it says Jesus hardened the heart of Pharaoh when he wouldn't let the children of Israel go from slavery. The Holy Spirit is giving a history lesson right here about the Israelites 40 years in the desert when many, many, maybe most of them, never allowed God and his Holy Spirit inside their hardened hearts. Are we guilty of that today? Are we guilty of that today? You bet we are. We have a hard heart when we show unbelief, when we fear, when we're afraid of things. We show when we disobey, when we disobey God. We show when we don't go to church. We show we have a hard heart. Anytime that we don't allow God completely inside of our hearts, we're showing that we have a hard heart. Let's soften our hearts up today. Let's soften our hearts up today. A soft heart, a soft heart is where we'll find the biggest spiritual catch. We soften our hearts, that's when we'll get our largest and biggest spiritual catch. That's when we'll get closer to God. That's when we're allowing His Holy Spirit to guide and lead us more and more every single day. And yep, that's when God will bless your socks off. Bless your socks off. Here's our tip for today. It's a pretty good one, you know. The question was, if you're going to skip something under a boat docks, what's a good bait to skip it? Here was our answer. Tubes are easy to skip under boat docks. Yeah, just a little old tube bait. And you can use them with a jig head inside of them. You can use them with a slip sinker. You're probably better off with a jig head inside of them. If you're going to use a, a tube with a slip sinker on it, you want to peg that slip sinker where it can't slide around because in skipping, you want your bait to be just one solid bait. So the best thing is to take little jig heads that you slip inside the tube. You can squirt a little fish in or something that's got a little oil in there and it lets you help slip it that inside a little bit easier. Now you have a solid bait and it'll just skip like a rock back up under that thing. So you can pitch up there and hit and just let that thing skip up under the dock. Let her go down under there. Whack them. Whack them. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.